What's up guys? Got a very different video for everybody today. For a while I've been looking at terrariums and different planted aquariums and I decided I was gonna set up my first planted aquarium. This is a 55 gallon and I've just got some guppies in it a couple male cobra guppies and about a dozen female guppies and the only other <clears throat> the only other fish in here are pleco I have one bristle nose and three golden nuggets other than that there's no fish mostly I wanted to focus on plants and different mosses, rocks, and wood. So for carpeting, I want the whole bottom, or half of this bottom here to be covered in dwarf baby tears, which are right here. So I want it all to be filled in about half the tank, everywhere you see black, and the gravel that's all going to be covered hopefully that's the goal and then this side if you look there's dwarf hair grass little tiny pieces little clumps that I planted everywhere this tanks only been set up for two weeks now stuffs growing and starting to spread I'm not running any co2 I've been reading that the CO2 really helps the plants thrive and grow a lot faster. So I'm looking into that, but if I don't have any issues and everything keeps continues to grow and do very well, I'm probably not gonna get the CO2. This over here is flame moss. I bought it on eBay, just a little rock, a little stone of it, and uh, they say it grows really well in low lighting and doesn't need very much of anything to just do really well. It's a very easy, it's a beginner's type moss. So put it on this rock here, hopefully it spreads all over that rock. The goal is to cover all the rocks with moss. The ground with dwarf baby tears over here dwarf hair grass over here and I have a little Taiwan moss here hopefully that works its way up towards the woods I'm also maybe gonna if stuff starts growing good I'm gonna cut little pieces of different mosses and put them on the rocks in the wood here's a little piece of driftwood that I got at Petco with a plant already on it I'm not exactly sure what it is she said like Anubias or something like that. I don't know what any of these bigger plants are to be honest with you. I think that's an Amazon sword if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not, but all these bigger plants. I just got various plants that looked good. I was more focused on um, the carpeting. What I'm gonna do for the bottom. And I'm really, I'm really liking these dwarf baby tears. I'm, Reading that they're really hard, I'm seeing videos on YouTube that they're really hard to have without CO2 and they need a lot of light, which I've been giving them a lot of light. I got this nice light on Amazon. Well, it was pretty cheap, but it had a lot of good reviews. It was like a $60, 48-inch LED light. And it, if you look close, you can see like little runners shooting off the sides. And it's very bright green, so it is thriving in here so far. We'll see how it goes. I bought these little uh, mesh 3x6 pads on eBay. And they're doing pretty good because I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the substrate underneath. It was like a cocoa husk or something, something that looked like cocoa husk. And, you know, they already had a substrate that they were growing in. They were well started. And then I also bought 
the same thing, dwarf baby tears like this from a different person that it was in a culture and it didn't really adhere to, it didn't have substrate underneath, so it didn't adhere to the gravel as well. And it really started to burn up and like yellow up. And as you can see, all along here, those little pieces, I broke it all up, whatever was left of it, and, and planted it in different spots. So hopefully it grows. It's actually living and starting to grow now. Whereas when I planted all these little pieces, they were pretty much dead. And now they're actually starting to have growth. So I think I saved a little bit of it, but. I'm also, I'm getting like a, like a mold or a bacteria bloom on the wood, but I'm reading that's really normal with new driftwood when you add it in the water and it goes away. But that's why I got the bristle nose and he's starting to take care of it. It's basically a temporary thing. I read that you could either take care of it right away by sucking it off, like siphoning it off or pulling it off yourself, getting a cleanup crew in there like bristle nose or those sucker mouth catfish, those dwarf sucker mouth catfish. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do there. It's just get rid of that it's pretty gross as far as fish just got these guppies here the one with the really bright tail that's the male there's actually two males in here they're called cobra guppies I think and then the rest are all females there's the two males right there with those speckled tails and they actually are already having babies too. If you look back here, where are they? Let's see if they're still in here. If you look closely, you'll see little babies swimming around. There's like 10, a dozen or so in there. It's not really coming up the best on camera, but They're down there. Here's that light I was telling you guys about. Not exactly sure the brand. Here's the filter that came with the tank. Pretty basic setup. I got a little water mover right here. Very basic setup and it's doing good. So I'll keep updating it and letting everybody know how it's doing. Hopefully the next time I shoot a video, the whole bottom we covered. See you guys later.